Hi, welcome to another video. So, Google recently launched Gemini 3.0 Pro, and it's a really good model. It costs relatively less than the sonnets of the world. It is quite fast. It is still in preview, but it is way better than the previous Gemini 2.5 Pro version, which is really insane to see. They also launched Nano Banana Pro, which is one of the first models that can reason before generating images, and it is also based on the same Gemini 3.0 Pro model as well. But Google's Flash model has also been really one of the fan favorites. This is because it gives you insane capabilities for relatively cheaper costs. Gemini 2.0 Flash and 2.5 Flash have been really very good. Nano Banana Original was actually based on the 2.5 Flash model. But now, it seems that Google will be launching Gemini 3.0 Flash as well, because on LM Arena, a new model has appeared that is called Skyhawk. Skyhawk and Seahawk are said to be basically early checkpoints of Gemini 3.0 Flash that will be launched very soon, probably this week or next week. Anyway, to get a taste of it, you can head on over to LM Arena, and there you can send a message, and after some time, you'll start to see a random model called Seahawk or Skyhawk, which are both variants of Gemini 3.0 Flash. So, that's great. Now, I have gone through the painstaking process of testing all my 11 questions of King Bench on LM Arena Skyhawk, and it was quite tough, but the results here are interesting. So, let's have a look at the results. First, we have got the floor plan in 3JS, and well, it is not very good. It is fine, but it is not anything extraordinary which we haven't seen before with any other model. Anyway, moving forward, we've got the SVG Panda eating a burger, and well, it is quite interesting. It looks kind of good, but it looks more like an icon rather than a full image. But it is interesting. So, I like it because it's a bit different. Then we've got the chessboard with the autoplay feature, and well, it just fails in this. The code is very wonky, the design is very wonky, and it's not a good generation. So, this was kind of unexpected. After this, we can move on to the Minecraft in 3D generation. And well, it is kind of good. It is more of a map rather than a playable game. But it is indeed functional and kind of well made with the Kandinsky style intact. So, I like it a bit. Then we've got the majestic butterfly flying in the garden. And this is also quite good. I mean, the wings are somewhat wonky, but overall this looks actually good. So, this is kind of good as well. The CLI tool in Rust was also fine, but nothing extraordinary. But it worked. The Blender script for a pokeball was also pretty fine. The riddle was solved well, but both the math questions were a fail. This makes it score just below the Caterpillar model, which was GPT 5.1, and also a bit below 4.5 Sonnet. This checks out with the performance that we see here. I don't think that this model will be a breakthrough, but it can be really useful nonetheless. I use 2.5 Flash and 2.0 Flash a lot in my workflows. They are great at vision, great at calling tools, and are generally very good models, considering that the price of these models is generally extremely cheap. 2.5 flash costs something like $0.3 for input per million tokens and $2.5 per million tokens of output, which is really low cost. And you also get a very generous free tier in the API with these models as well. The flashlight model is also a really good model. It used to cost only 10 cents and 40 cents per million input and output tokens respectively which is quite insane to think about. Another thing that is great with the Flash models is their live capabilities. They are mostly Omni models, meaning that you can use them to talk live, which is one of the most underrated options in my opinion. 
you can give it a stream of video input and audio input, and it can reason across that info and do some really cool stuff. So, that is really good. I think that the flash model will come first, and then the flashlight will be followed up after that, because both of these models can be really good. 3.0 flash seems good. I hope that they fix some of the hallucination problems that we are seeing with something like Gemini 3.0 Pro as well. Gemini 3.0 Pro is a really good model, but it is not very good in long horizon tasks, and it still struggles with complex tool calling in my opinion. I hope 3.0 Flash fixes things in it to make it even better. I think that if they are able to distill the Gemini 3.0 Pro front-end capabilities into it, then it can be an awesome cheap model just for front-end. I use 3.0 Pro a lot for front-end, as you guys would have seen in my videos as well. But currently there's literally no match for the capabilities that Opus offers and the price that it is being offered at. So, yeah, there's that. I think a Gemini Ultra might be awesome. Google has indeed given the Ultra members access to Gemini DeepThink, which is like their O3 Pro, but a new Opus-like mode would be awesome for sure. That is majorly about it. You guys were asking me to test it. So, here's that. Open Source is also making strides with DevStrawl, GLM 4.6V, and more such models. Let me know if you guys want a video on DevStrawl or not, because it looks really good for the size and money that it's being offered. It might be a really good model, considering that it offers very similar capabilities to Minimax, but at slightly lower costs, which is kind of insane. It is also currently free on the API. Let me know if you guys want a video from me about that. Anyway, this seems like a good model. Nano Banana Flash will also be released with this. It seems because they will surely add image capabilities to it, and the images generated have started to leak as well. So, yeah, there's that. That is majorly about it. Let me know if you guys have used it in LM Arena, and what you guys think about the performance there as well. And also let me know if you guys want a video on DevStrawl as well. That is majorly about it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.